In this video clip, we will solve the project that we have constructed previously and also look at the solver settings, messages, and help. Before we solve the project, you can see that all the links in the units are pale blue color. This indicates that there is no flow through any of these units. To solve the project, we can either click on the solver icon up here, or we can click on Actions, Run, or we can click on Control Shift R. So I'm going to use the little icon, and so I'm going to click Run. And Cisco has solved the project. This is our Solver Status dialog box, and here it shows it's taken four iterations to solve it, maximum error is solved, and all the units are converged. And you'll also see that the colors of the links have changed. So the dark blue color means that there's either a slurry or a liquid flowing through that link. If it's a green color, this means it's usually a gaseous flow. And the pale blue, there's still no flow through our conch acid stream. The solver dialog also has, if we click on errors, it'll show us all the errors in the unit. And while it is solving, you'll see as these change. At the moment, we have no errors because it's solved. To make changes to how Syscade will solve your project, we can go and click on this icon, the Probile Setup icon, or we can go to Project, Probile Setup, and we'll get this dialog box. On the first tab, the Convergence tab, we have the maximum number of iterations that Syscade will run for before it will stop. The required converged iterations, the default is three, which is usually sufficient. And the tolerance, the relative tolerance and the absolute tolerance. And the default values are the best values to use normally for a project. If you set these values to a lower value, syscade will solve faster, but will not be as accurate. The method that one uses, one normally just leaves as the default values. The active pages, for this project, we only have one flow sheet, and that flow sheet is obviously active. But to deactivate a project flow sheet, one can go there and just click on deactivate, or to activate it again, activate. And that's useful when you have more than one flow sheet in a project, and you can deactivate a number and just solve one at a time, or just deactivate one that you don't want to run at a particular time. On the options tab, you can have keep status display pinned. And what that means is this dialog will always stay active even when you finish solving. And I'll show you the difference if I untick that when I do a, and I'll go to a solve and you'll see. And reset or restart historian. Very seldom would you have those two clicked for a steady state model. So if I apply and OK, and now if I solve, you'll see that solver status disappears when we finish solving. The other thing is we have a messages window, which will give you any messages once you've solved your project. And these little icons up here will show you what messages you have. The first one is for errors. The second one will be warnings. And the third one is just messages. And if you click on either of these hot buttons, as we call them, you'll get your messages window. And you can see at the moment there are no messages. So we have no errors in our project currently. But if we did have any messages, they would show up here. The other thing that we'd just like to look at is the help. How do we get help for a Syscad project? You'll see there's this help drop down menu, and then you can go straight to the online help with that, or models, or PGM language. And that'll take us to our general help. So if I click there, online help, it opens up in the online, and that's the main page for our help which then you can navigate by clicking in the search button and typing what you're interested in. For instance, if we type solver in there, it would then take us to the solver page, which we could then hopefully find what we were looking for. Alternatively, if I go back to Syscade, if you look for looking for help on a particular model, so if I right click, for instance, on a feeder, and you see at the top right, there is a button with a question mark, and that's the help button for that model. If I click on that, 
it'll take us directly to the help for that unit model. And you can see here, we've gone to the help for the feeder, feeder cross page connector. And this will tell us everything about the feeder, as well as if I click on data sections, for every field that you see in the access window, we have an explanation for what those fields mean. For instance here, your QM required that we spoke about earlier is the mass flow required from the feeder. Okay, so that's the help that you would use in your project. To save the project, we can say Control S, or we can click on the Save All icon, or I could click here File, Save Project, and that will save the project for me. And to close the project, we go File, Close Project. And every time you close a project in Syscate, it will always ask you if you want to save it as you go out. In this case, we've already saved, so I'm going to say no, and we'll save and close. And that's the end of section two.